let's start, okay? So right now we have 23 members in the class. So this is me, okay? Uh, Luz Guzman. Ustedes estuvieron conmigo el día de ayer, ¿verdad? No se me vayan a confundir. Todos estamos acá. Please open your cameras. Right here we have uh, 23 members, so 23 participants. So we are going to wait a few seconds and I'm going to start with the attendance, okay? So remember that it's very important to be on time. Open your cameras, please. Okay, let's... Okay, let me pass the attendance, okay? We are gonna start with the attendance. Okay, here we go. Uh, look, um, I will mention your name, okay? And what we are going to do is we will say, um, something that we know about English, okay? We will say that work, we are remember that we are in model one, so we are at the beginning. So vamos empezando, pero vamos a decir um, una de las frases que eh, vimos el día de ayer. It's nice to meet you, or, or you can say, okay, it's a pleasure for me to be here. And uh, something very simple, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see right here. Yeah, you can mention any English word, okay? Vamos iniciando, no tengamos pena. Recuerden de tener en mute your uh, microphone, but of course, at the moment that you listen your name. So, for example, if I say Susana Gabriela, okay? I'm here, okay, present, okay? That's what you have to say. No me diga, sí, aquí estoy, okay? In English, okay? We will say, yes, I'm here, okay, present. And that way I will be able to see who are in the class, okay? So we have 23 participants, okay? We have the chat. Now, are you able to listen, Ana Paricio? Ya nos puede escuchar? Yes. Ana, Ana, Ana. I guess that yes, Ana. Okay, you can uh, hear. Okay. So let's see the attendance. Okay. So remember in the attendance, you will say, yes, I'm here, present. Okay. Uh, let's see, I saw the Maris Ortiz. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Uh, then we have Ana Janet Aparicio Quintanilla. Ana Janet Aparicio Quintanilla. It's not here. Okay, so Edith Janet. Edith Janet Argueta Orellana. Creo que Edith era la que estaba con problemas de audio. Quiero ver. Ah, no sé por qué. Yo pido cuando lista la mujer. Hola. Okay, no tiene entrada, ¿eh? Yes. Present, Edith. Edith Janet Argueta. Thank you. Argueta I see. de okay. Fuentes. Thank you. Let's see who's next. Uh, we have also right here, Emmanuel Francisco Castillo. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Priscila Gomez Bolaños. Present. Thank you. Uh, then we have Gabriela Elisa Hurtado Martinez. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Vanessa Díaz Beltrán. 
present. Thank you, Jacqueline. Um, let's see. Jose, thank you, Jose Bismar Mejia Luna. Jose Bismar. Está teniendo problemas para entrar, Miss. Ah, okay. Le voy a poner acá present. Okay. So be careful with your mute. Mismo pide que le ayuden con el enlace porque no puede ingresar. Ya, yeah. I guess now yes. Okay, let's continue with the attendance. Now we have Josué Israel Portillo Mengíbar. Josué Israel Portillo? No? Okay, uh, Josué Neftali Rosales Perla? Present. Thank you, sir. Uh, then we have Carla Alejandrina Turcios Gonzalez? Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Then we have uh, Luz Maria Bolaños Ventura. Present. Thank you. Then we have Mailing Elizabeth Villalobos Artiga. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Then we have Nancy Judith Sandoval Gonzalez. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Nancy Milagro Molina Gomez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Rolando Alberto Cárcamo García. Present. Thank you. Uh, Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez Mate. Present. Thank you. Uh, Ruth Karina Peña Hernández. Present. Thank you. Ruth Milagro González de Renata. Present. Thank you. Sandra Patricia Rivera Morales. Present. 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 Thank you. Present. <laughs> nice. Sandy Judisa Marquez Umaña. Present. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, Zulma Yanira Díaz Cruz. Zulma? Yanira Díaz Cruz. No? Ok, no. Susana Gabriela Rivas Guardado. Present. Thank you. Uh, Tania Yvonne Avilés Sargueta. Present. Thank you. Then we have Valeria Esther González Pocasangre. Present. Thank you. Uh, Verónica Milagro Jiménez Anaya. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Victor Adonai Díaz Mengíbar. I'm here. Thank you, sir. Uh, Wendy Arely Serrano Argueta. Present. Thank you, Wendy. Jancy uh, Carolina Ramos. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Jancy uh, Astrid Castillo. I'm here. Thank you. And I guess I have one right here. Carla Paola Martinez, right? Carla Paola? No? Okay. So did I mention all of you or there is uh, someone here that I didn't mention? Okay. Los mencioné a todos. Ok, let's see. Ana Aparicio. No escuchó cuando le di el nombre. Veamos. Ana Aparicio. Ok, ahorita le cambié ya su asistencia. Quiero verificar. Alguien más me colocó acá en el chat. Stephanie Sorry. Priscila. Stephanie uh, Priscila. Let me see. Stephanie. Stephanie Priscila. Yes, you yeah, have missed. the attendance. Yes. Ok, perfect. Did I missed? Someone or I mentioned all of you. Alguien no mencioné? A mí. Yes, a mí. Okay, let's see. Uh, Jose Mejia. Present. 
Okay, deje verificar la lista. José Mejía, José Mejía. José Bismar, Mejía Luna. Yes, I am. Okay, ahí está la asistencia. Uh, who else is missing? ¿Quién más falta? Josué Portillo. Josué Israel Portillo. Ajá, si sí, aquí le había puesto que no estaba, ahora ya está. Okay, good. Nice. I guess that we have all. El único que no aparece acá es Zulma Yanira. No sé si ya estará. Zulma Yanira es la única que está ausente. Zulma. No le funciona el micro, dice en el chat. Ok. Zulma, thank you. Ok, sorry. Ok, perfecto. Okay, perfect. So how are you? Today is the last day of class for uh, this week. Okay, today is Thursday and uh, it's the last day because tomorrow it's Friday, we don't have class. So tomorrow you can go party, tomorrow you can go and do whatever you want because we don't have classes, right? And uh, also because vacations are coming, okay? Next week, we don't have classes, okay? No vayan a meterse al link aquí el otro lunes porque no voy a estar aquí, okay? So we have vacations, okay? So we have vacations and we will be back on the on Tuesday. It's not Monday. The first day that we will start will be Tuesday, okay? Eh, las fechas exactas se les van a estar compartiendo ahí en, en el grupo del WhatsApp. Pero eh, sepan que no vamos a iniciar lunes. The, we are going to start Tuesday, okay? So, uh, let's start. I'm extremely glad to see happy faces right here. Let me... Um, Close right here. And please open your cameras, Emmanuel, Jacqueline, Isa, Josue. I want to see your faces. Okay. Thank you. And look at the camera because remember that all the uh, meetings are being recorded. And also, I'm taking uh, some screenshots, okay, for you to. Um, be able to see like, you know, the records and everything about this, okay? So uh, let's let's start, let me uh, share my screen, okay? And I guess that we all have access to the platform. Uh, there is one person that is not able to, I guess, but it's just uh, a few, a few people, the one that it's not able to, uh, get into the platform. Just let me see something really quick. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Si me pueden escuchar? Yes. Okay. Yes. No sé por qué no me dio esta cuestión aquí. Okay, now we are 31st, okay? Okay, perfect. So let's see. Uh, did you remember the video that we started checking uh, yesterday? It was, yes. a, it was a video about um, introduce yourself. Okay, here it is. Okay, so we are going to continue. Hello, my name is Merlin. Nice to meet you to everyone. Practice. Hi, my name is uh, Jancy Ramos. Nice to meet you. Okay, I see that you start, right? So, ya empezaron algunos. Remember el, el progreso. Debemos de irlo, lo vamos a ver en esta parte de acá, donde dice progress. Okay, so we need to work in this because every Friday I will take all the grades, okay? Esta, esta plataforma nos va a ir dando una calificación y eh, la clase termina en jueves, right? Yo voy a dar todo el jueves para que ustedes tengan el porcentaje que debemos de tener 
Y el día viernes, cada viernes, yo voy a estar eh, pasando las notas de cada uno de ustedes al listado oficial. Uh, Sulma, I see that you have, uh, you raise your hand. Sulma Yanira, I don't know if you have a question. Okay, so do you have a question or everything is okay? Okay, thank you, Sulma. I guess that uh, everything is okay. So be ready and uh, right now we have right here, okay? So my name is Jennifer Miller. So we, we didn't, uh, well, yeah, we watched the video, right? About the conversation. So we are going to continue with the uh, lesson 1.2, okay? By the end of this uh, lesson, uh, it says, uh, at the end of this lecture, participants will be able to use my, your, his, her in order to introduce their names or to introduce a friend or a classmate, okay? So we will be able to introduce, okay? We have right here possessives, okay? Possessives, okay? My, your, his, and her. Okay, we are going to see my, this is my computer. Okay, this is my phone. Okay, this is my, okay. Now we will say your, okay. This is your computer. Okay, it's not my, it's your. Then uh, we have his to refer to a boy. Okay, this is his computer. This is his phone. And we have her. That will be for a girl, will be for a lady. This is her laptop. This is her um, desk. This is her ruler, whatever, right? So that will be the possessives, okay? Let's see what we have right here in this uh, short video, okay? Let's see. We have it right here. Hi, everyone. In this class, we're going to learn how to use possessive pronouns, my, your, his, and her. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is listen to a quick conversation, and then I'll illustrate how the grammar is used. What's your name? My name is Jennifer. What's his name? His name is Michael. What's her name? Her name is Nicole. Okay, perfect. Look, um, we will use my, okay? When we refer to me, this is my house, okay? This is my class, okay? But then if I refer to Jancy, for example, this is her computer, okay? Because it's Jancy's computer. But if I want to use his, for example, Rolando Cargamo, this is his phone. Okay, so we need to use uh, the different uh, possessive adjectives in this case. Okay, so uh, let's continue. What equals what is? Now, let's try to make sense of the possessives. We use the possessives whenever you want to express belonging. For example, my name is John. His name is Jason. Her name is Mary. Uh, as you can see on the screen, my name is Jennifer, his name is Michael, her name is Nicole. Let me show you a quick guide to follow in order to understand this concept. I'll write the pronouns and the possessive. So let's see if I want to talk about the pronoun I and express some kind of possessive, I'm going to use my. For you, that will be your. For he, that will be his. And for she, that would be uh, her. Uh, so, for example, uh, my name is Joe. Your name is Jason. His name is Michael. 
Her name is Nicole. Now, let's try to... Okay, perfect. So that's the way that we will use it, okay? Those are possessive, okay? Possessive adjectives. So if I want to refer to something that is me, it's for me, I will say my, okay? My. But if you want to refer to another person that you don't know if it is a he or it's a she, so you can use your, okay? That's your computer, okay? And uh, for a boy, Okay, for example, if we have Jose, if we have Michael, if we have um, Eric, boy names, that would be his, okay? And for a lady, let's see, Wendy, Sulma, Rosalina. So ladies, that would be her, okay? Are we clear in this part? Are we clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ya vamos a hacer una práctica yes. y no me le vaya a decir a un niño her o a una niña his, ok? So we need to use correct the uh, possessive adjectives, ok? Put it all together by illustrating some examples. My name is Joe. Your name Okay, so let's do it in a different way. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can uh, stop sharing to see all your faces. And I'm going to start. Okay, I'm going to start and I will say, uh, hi, this is uh, Luz. My name is Luz, right? And uh, we have here, for example, Ruth. Okay, she is root okay and her first name is root or her second name is karina okay but then if i refer to jose for example hello uh this is uh he is jose his second name it's i don't know because i don't see it right here it's just jose mejia okay but this is how we are gonna use the possessive. My, it's for me, your classroom, okay, your. But then when you refer to a lady, okay, you will say this is her husband, this is her boyfriend, okay? And when you refer to a guy or a man or a boy, so you will say his, okay? This is his pencil, this is his, boys okay perfect so let's continue with this okay let's continue with this we have right here very good video and very excellent information ah, thank you okay so now let's check okay let's do it together okay we are going to use the possessive my your his or her to complete the blanks, okay? The blanks are these ones, okay? Let's see, Tania, okay? Tania Yvonne, read the first sentence, please. Okay, hello, what's your name? Hi, he, uh, hi, my name is Antonio. Perfect, my name is Antonio, okay? Uh, Jose, number two, please. What is her name? Her name is Nicole. Perfect. What is her? Okay. What is her name? Okay. Her name is Nicole. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, number three will be for uh, Victor Adonai. Number three. What is... What is name? Uh, his name is Michael. Perfect. What is his name? Okay, his name is Michael. Okay, so that's how we are gonna use it. Okay, let's let's do practice. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Josué Neftali. Josué Neftali. What is your uh, second name?
Josué Neftalí. Miles Nev Josué. Okay, uh, your second name. What is your second name? Uh, Miles Nev uh, Perla. Okay, thank you. Remember, my first name is primer nombre, right? Second name, that will be your segundo nombre, right? Last name, that will be apellido, okay? What is your last name, okay? That will be apellido. Uh, I would like to mention something before I forget it. I would like to mention that, please, take a notebook or take a pen next to you. You can have a... Uh, you can have a small notebook, no sé, un papel, un cuaderno, una libreta, lo que usted tenga, téngalo ahí en cada clase. Why? Because if we have a new vocabulary, if we have something that we don't know, so please write down the new work. Cada imagen, cada vez que vayamos avanzando acá en la plataforma, traten de ir anotando. Si usted ve una palabra nueva, Y usted dice, bueno, ¿y eso qué es? So write it down. Escriba esa palabra en su cuaderno y vamos a ir aprendiendo de esa manera new words, new vocabulary, ¿ok? So try to keep it in mind. Tengan ahí una anotación en su cuadernito o algo. Y every time that you see a new, a new um, work, something that you don't really know, what is the meaning of, for example, blanks. I know que está aquí. Right? But blanks in English, probably it's something new. So write it down, okay? Write it down. That will be part of your homework, okay? So let's move on to the lesson 1.5, okay? By the end of this lecture, participants will be able to spell their names in others, okay? Let's see, what is the spell? What is the spell? Deletrear. Deletrear. Oh, nice. Okay, spell. So let's see. Sandra Leiva, how do you spell your last name? R E B A R I. Okay, so that your last name, remember uh, your last name, my first name, second name, and last name, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Marilyn, how do you spell your first name? First name. M E. Y L E N. Okay, Mary mailing. Nice. So let's see. Let's see. Emmanuel. How do you spell your second name, Emmanuel? Um, is the F R R? Sorry, F R A N C I S. C -O. Oh, perfect. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nancy, Judith, how do you spell your second name? Um, um, a, um, a, a. Okay. What is a second name, Nancy? Second name. Remember my first name, primer nombre. Second name, that will be segundo nombre, okay? Last name, apellido, okay? So let's continue, don't worry. Thank you, Nancy, okay? Let's see, Ruth, how do you spell your first name? Ruth Milagro. Ruth Milagro, how do you spell your first name? Mm, ¿Me lo puedes repetir? Yes. How do you spell your first name? Do 
you spell it? R I R U D H. H. Okay, perfect. Nice. Remember, a spell. Siempre que le diga, how do you spell whatever? So, como deletrea, right? Deletrear, spell. Uh, let's see, let's see the last one. Uh, Rolando, how do you spell your last name? Is C A R C A M O. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so the the alphabet. Okay, so we need to know the alphabet. Okay, like the uh, small kids, right? When they go to kindergarten, they are like A, B, C, D, E, F. So we need to know the alphabet. Okay, probably not as uh, singing like babies, but of course you need to learn it. Okay, you need to know the letters. Okay. Nice. Let's see. That will be the last, the last, the last, the last um, will be for Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela, how do you spell your second name? Gabriela Hurtado, how do you spell your second name? My second name is A. No, no, no. A-L-I-S-E-A. -E okay. Okay. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Edith, how do you spell your second name? Y-I-N-E-T-H. Okay. T-H. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Susana, how do you spell your name? The first name. S U S A N A. Okay, eight, uh, eight at the end. Nice. Thank you. So I know that all of you want to spell your names. Okay. Yo sé que todos quieren que le pregunte, pero because of the time, so we have to continue. Okay. We have to continue, but please. Uh, try to practice the vocabulary, the, the alphabet, okay? The alphabet. So let me share the screen one more time and uh, we will continue with this, okay? Spell the names and everything. So look, we have the alphabet right here, okay? So we will listen just one time, okay? Este video usted lo puede reproducir mil veces si usted quiere, okay? Puede hasta usted buscar un alfabeto para escuchar el audio y aprenderse cada una de las letras. Solo lo vamos a escuchar just one time because of the time, okay? Porque tenemos que avanzar y el tiempo pues pasa rápido. So let's listen. Hi everyone. In this class, we're going to learn the English alphabet. We'll do this by listening and repeating. Let's get started. Um, on the screen, you can see the English alphabet. I would like for you to listen to me and observe the way I move my lips and my mouth for each letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, I would like Okay, perfect. So you see how to pronounce the, the alphabet, okay? The alphabet. So we need to learn it, okay? So that will be part of your homework, okay? You have to practice the vocabulary. We have the, the book, you know, that we have the material right here where it says uh, student book, a student lesson. So you have it there, okay? A student manual. 
So you have there the book, so you can see the alphabet, okay? So we need to learn the alphabet, okay? On the next class, not tomorrow. Tomorrow we don't have class. Also next week, we don't have class, right? Because of the vacations. But when we come back from vacations, I will spell, I will ask you to spell different words, okay? No le voy a pedir que me deletree solo su nombre, okay? Uh, puedo decir, okay, how do you spell table? Okay, o oh, T-A-B-L-E, okay? Usted tiene que estar listo con el alfabeto para deletrear lo que yo le diga que va a deletrear, okay? No solo el nombre, usted puede deletrear any object, any, any other name, Okay, so we are gonna uh, learn about that, okay? So let's continue with this, okay? We have right here a knowledge check. Knowledge check, spelling names, okay? So listen, okay? We are gonna listen this and you will say uh, right here we have different questions, okay? We have five or five different uh, conversations and so we are gonna say the name that we listened, okay? That the person is spelling, okay? So listen to five conversations and check the correct answer for each, okay? Vamos a escuchar cinco conversaciones y debemos de seleccionar la respuesta correcta para cada una. So uh, be ready, please. Be ready and let's start. I don't know what happened here. It doesn't play anything. Dele directo al signo de reproducción. So you just... Ahí. I don't know what happened. Let me see if I go back and probably then go next, previous. Miss. Yes. Tiene que abrir este, ahí donde sale el, el video. Tiene que hacer grande la pantalla. Ahí sale una flechita. Ok, let me Entonces, see. Entonces ahí ya se va a poder reproducir el audio. <coughs> Okay, it's loading. How do you spell the names? Listen and check the correct answers. One. Your name is John Lee? That's right. And how do you spell your first name, Mr. Lee? It's J-O-N. Okay. Okay, so... Take, take into account the letters, ok? You can write it down. Pueden escribirlas para que después veamos las respuestas, ok? So let's see one more time. How do you spell the names? Listen and check the correct answers. One. Your name is John Lee? That's right. And how do you spell your first name, Mr. Lee? It's J-O-N. Ok. Thank you. Two. Sarah Brown. Your first name is spelled S-A-R-A-H? No, my name is spelled S-A-R-A. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Yes, it's S-A-R-A. -A. Got it. Thanks. Three. My name is Stephen Jones. Thank you. Stephen, that's S-T-E-V. No, it's spelled S-T-E-P-H-E-N. Oh, excuse me. S-T-E-P-H-E-N. That's right. Four. Your name, please. It's Catherine Simpson. Is that K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E? No, it's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. 
Oh, so it's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. Thank you, Ms. Simpson. Five. And what's your first name, please? It's Chris. Is your name spelled C-H-R-I-S? No, it's spelled K-R-I-S. Chris with a K. Chris with a K. Thanks. Okay, so let's go back. Let's see. Uh, conversation one. It is John, J-O-N, or John, J-O-N-H. Which one is the correct the one? The first the, one. Okay, oh, the first one. The second one. First. First. The first, first. one. Can you say just J-O-N? Okay. Mm. So what about number two? Which one is the correct one? The, se the first one or the second one? The first, 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 first one. one. The first, the first one. one, okay? She says S-8-R-8, eight eight, okay? Number three, which one is the correct one? The first one or the second one? The second, the second, the second one. one. The second okay, one. the second one. Stephanie, can you please spell this name? Stephanie, spell it. Me. Go ahead. Okay, um, S T E P H A H E N. Okay, thank you. S T E P H E N. Nice. Conversation four. Which one is the correct one? The first one or the second one? The second, the second one. one. The second one. one. Perfect. The second one. The second one. Uh, Luz Maria, spell the name, please. K A T H R Y N. Perfect. Nice. Uh, and the last one, conversation five. Which one is the correct one? The first one. 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 Okay. Carla Alejandrina, spell it, please. K R is the I S. Perfect. Thank you. So as soon as you click submit, so you get the score, okay? So you can get your own score. So let's see lesson 1.8, okay? By the end of this class, you will learn how to form a statements, okay? And questions using uh, the verb to be, okay? Statements, okay? Probably this is a new work. If it is, so write it down. Cada palabra nueva que usted vaya viendo o vaya aprendiendo, usted no. No sepa, este, please write it down, okay? So we will see statements that are like oraciones, right? So, but in this case, using the verb to be, okay? Let's see uh, what we have. Oh my God, it's, what time is it? Um, we have we have a few minutes okay let's see the bird to be in questions this is something very important this is like very very basic the very very first class it's about the bird to be okay and you will see that we have different subjects okay and we have uh the bird to be let's play part of this video okay no lo vamos a ver todo esto ustedes lo pueden reproducir igual Después, vamos a ver la parte inicial nada más. Okay, let's listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be, which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left, hand side of the chart you can see the pronoun I that will be equals to M for the pronouns you we and they you're going to use R and for the pronouns he she and it then uh, we're going to use is okay. so um, if we look at the examples I'm Jennifer Miller this is the same thing as saying I am Jennifer Miller. 
you can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right, right hand side of the screen. Now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need Okay, so we are going to stop right here because here is the main idea of this video, okay? The verb to be, okay? The verb to be, it's am, are, is, okay? Those are like the verbs that we are going to use with the different subjects. If you are able to memorize and keep in mind the subjects and the correct verb for each, so you are nice, okay? Remember, I am. Okay, I am a teacher, I am a student, I am a doctor, okay? And then for the subject, you, we, and they, we are gonna use are, okay? You are my best friend. We are friends. They are my brothers, as example, right? And then for the subject, he, she, it, we are gonna use is, okay? He is my best friend. She is her boyfriend, oh, her, um, yes, she is uh, her doctor, okay? She is a dentist, she is a lawyer, okay? That will be for lady, and it, that can be for uh, pets, that can be for objects. It is a dog, it is a cat, okay? So this is something that we need to master, okay? The subjects and the verb. Okay, please never, never, never mix them. Okay, nunca vamos a cambiar aquí por decir he are, eso no existe. Okay, you is, jamás. Okay, so we need to know which one is the correct one for each subject. Okay, recuérdelo, por un, para un he, she, it, is. That's the verb to be that we are going to use. Okay, you, we, and they are. Okay, and for me, I'm, I will use am, okay? I will say, I am a teacher, okay? You are my students, okay? We are a team, okay? They are classmates, okay? And he is my brother. She is my sister. It's my dog. Okay, so that's how we are gonna use the verb to be. Okay, let's see what else we have right here. We have a knowledge check. Complete the conversation by filling in the blanks. Okay, filling in the blanks. Completar espacios en blanco right here, right? So let's see, let's see who. Uh, Aisa Ortiz, read the first sentence, please. Excuse me, are you Steven Carson? No, I am not. Perfect, thank you. Okay, no, I am not. Nice. So let's see, uh, let's see, Jancy Carolina, number two. My name is Davy Medina. Perfect, my name is Davy Medina. Thank you. Uh, let's see, the next one will be for, uh, let's see, Josue Israel Portillo, number three. Josue, go ahead. Yes, I am uh, <laughs> missing in the uh, question three. Okay, you don't know the, the answer. No problem, Jose. Don't worry, okay? We are here to help you, okay? Um, vamos a ver, le va a ayudar Jancy Astrid. Jancy Astrid, vamos a ver, number three. Steven is over there. Perfect. Steven is over there. Remember que Steven is he. He. Okay? Es un él. Ahora, yo puedo decir he is over there. O puedo decir Jose, Chepe, Juan, 
right? Mm -hmm. El nombre está sustituyendo al, al, al sujeto. But it's, it's he is over there or Steven is over there. Okay, uh, let's see, Edith Janet, number four. Are you Steven Carson? Perfect, this is a question, right? Are Thank you, you. Steven Carson? Okay, this is a question. Cuando sea una question, we switch the order. Le damos vuelta al orden ahí, right? Are you? Okay, you are my best friend. Are you my best friend? If it is a question, okay? Let's see, Valeria, Esther, number five. Hi, is Nicole Johnson? Okay, hi. It's Nicole Johnson, okay? This is a lady, right? That's nice. And the last one, the last one, let's see quién es el voluntario para la última. Ana Aparicio, that's you. Number six. Ana, go ahead. Okay, if you don't if you don't know the answer, no problem. Okay, let's see. Sandy Marquez. Sandy number six. Steven, it's nice to meet you. Okay, Steven, it's nice to meet you. Perfect. Thank you. So uh, we have uh, three more minutes for the attendance. Remember that I have to pass the attendance at the beginning and also at the end. Ok, so uh, voy a decir rapidito el nombre, me van nada más diciendo, yes, I'm here, uh, present, in order for me to know that you are here. I said Damaris. Present. Thank you, Ana Janet. Present. Edith Janet. Present. Emanuel Francisco. I'm here. Stephanie Priscilla. Priscilla. Present. I'm sorry, Priscilla. Gabriela Present. Elisa. Present. Jacqueline Vanessa. Present. Jose Bismar. Present. Josué Israel. Present. Josué Neftali. Present. Carla Alejandrina. I'm here. Luz María. Present. Mailing Elizabeth. Yes, I'm here. Thank you, Nancy Judith. Present. Nancy Milagro. Nancy Milagro. Thank you. Thank you. Creo que sí, ahí está. Thank you. Rolando Alberto. Present. Thank you, Rosalina Esmeralda. Rosalina. Present. Thank you, Ruth Karina. Present. Ruth Milagro. Present. Present. Thank you, Sandra Patricia. Present. Sandy Judiza. Sandy. Thank you, Zulma Yanira. Present. Thank you, Susana Gabriela. Present. Tania Ivon. Tania. Tania, Tania. Thank Present. you, Valeria Esther. Present. Verónica Milagro. Present. Víctor Adonai. Victor Adonai. I'm here. Thank you, Wendy Areli. Present. Thank you, Jancy Carolina. Present. Jancy Astrid. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Okay, nice. So uh, time is over. Okay, it's 10 o'clock already. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being on time. I appreciate your participation and everything. 
please enjoy your vacations, okay? But be safe. Remember, coronavirus is all over the country. So if you go out with your friends, with your family, it's nice, but take control of yourself, okay? Follow the rules because I want to see all of you uh, when we come back from vacations, okay? A todos los espero acá después de las vacaciones, no me vaya a salir ahí que, que ya no, que se enfermó. Sí puede salir en sus vacaciones, si es que voy a tener vacaciones, pero eh, tomen las medidas necesarias, ¿ok? Porque pues va a haber mucha gente, concentración de personas en X lugares, especialmente la playa, qué sé yo. Así es que este, disfruten sus vacaciones, aprovechen, estudien, por favor, todos, para cuando regresemos el alfabeto de memoria, ¿verdad? Eh, no importa el orden, usted se tiene que aprender todas las letras en inglés. Este, traten de avanzar en la plataforma, vayan viendo el progreso, ahí les va dando una pestaña donde dice cómo va usted. Al final de cada semana usted tiene que estar en un avance porque esos son los scores que yo voy a estar trasladando en su carpeta de notas. Así que muchas gracias por el tiempo. Pasen muy bonita noche y nos vemos después de la vacación que sería día martes. Yo les mando ahí al grupo de WhatsApp detallada la fecha, igual se los van a mandar, pero sería de esta semana que viene a la siguiente día martes reanudamos actividades. Así que gracias por el tiempo, un gusto y cualquier cosa, pues ahí les dejé ya mi nombre en el grupo del WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Con gusto me pueden escribir si necesitan algo, necesitan ayuda o tienen alguna duda. Ok, so thank you for the time. Bye bye, enjoy your vacations and take care. Ok, see you soon. Thank you. 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 Thank you.